In this video, we're going to use roof drawings from rooforders.com and we're going to take a look at how we can use those drawings in their PDF form in the tool called Visio, made by Microsoft. Welcome. If you don't have Microsoft Visio with your Office program, then it's easy to find. Put it in the Google search bar. What we're using is the 2010 version here. Let's order the roof we're going to use. Here we go. We create roof plans by interpreting aerial imagery and creating 3D models of the roofs. Our plans include all the measurements of all the surfaces, features, pitch adjusted, enabling you to judge properly the amount of roofing materials required to re-roof a building. We also provide solar analysis mapping on buildings, both commercial and residential, in addition to providing all the standard information on a roof, such as length measurements, we also include roof obstructions, which are critical features that have to be addressed in the solar module layout process. Using this graph or roof face hatched image and this obstruction drawing here, one can quickly and easily assess where solar panels go, how they'll fit, what your CAL FIRE dimensions look like, etc. Again, our product and work is based on making 3D models of the entire roof and its obstructions. And in the case of the solar mapping we offer in premium solar, we make a 3D model of the off-roof obstructions, such as trees, adjacent buildings, what could be referred to as street furniture. Here's a nice tree street furniture. Instead of climbing a roof and taking readings with an appropriate solar tool to determine the solar access for certain locations on a roof in relation to both on and off roof obstructions, we can provide that data to you in a manner that enables you to see the roof faces solar access through the year by providing an insulation map for each roof face for each month of the year and an annual composite as well. So let's look at this home or the report that we did for 1204 Drake Avenue Burlingame and we'll take a look at that solar insulation report and we'll see how these two trees in the front in the south end, southwest end of this home affect the solar resource. Well, as we can see, this home has some shading occurring from that tree that was here and from the tree that was here. This is the annual solar insulation map depicting the kilowatt hours per square meter on an average annual basis for this home. You can see the effect of shading around this chimney and we can take a look through the rest of the year and you can see intuitively you know January has significantly less sunshine and the register of insulation is a significantly lower and as we get through the year we start to see there is more and more sunshine and the colors warm up if you will but we're still able to identify the problems or patterns caused by the trees in terms of shading and solar insulation. And as you well imagine, when you get to the month of May, the sun is so much higher, we're starting to see less intrusion from those trees and the shading. And as we get back down, we're going to see you know, in the fall, the presence of the shading and the lack of insulation again. So we know, for instance, we don't want to go crowding down in this corner design. In this image, the solar map for July in this case is combined with the roof lengths and obstructions. This image was created by using the layers feature in Visio, a drawing program which will be used and shown in this demonstration, showing how easy it is to utilize our PDF roof and solar reports in the Visio drawing program. So if you want to just recap how those images got into the Visio file, I grabbed them right out of Snagit and this guy, this, this. So you just actually grab it. I can just go Command C, copy, and then go right to the Visio file and say Command D. And there we are. So that's how they get put. The process started with the grid paper. We're just going to zoom in and we're going to count out some squares and we're going to lay out some modules. 
All right, now we need to make the module fit the roof in terms of these squares. Okay, so what we've done is we've got a rectangle and we're going to make it three, a little over three feet wide and a little over about five and a half feet tall. So we know panels are a little over three and we know that panels are a little more than five. So let's start here at the bottom and count up five. One, two, three, four, five and a half. And it is a little over three feet. So this is the size of a solar module. For this roof, behavior is one dimensional. And we want to, let's have it be a color, a panel, like, uh, and we'll give it a little bit of an internal pattern. Here's our first panel. It's adjusted to this roof. In this case, we want them up to the ridge. The uh, building authority is good with panels up to the ridge if there's access in the back in this case, and they want three feet at the bottom. So we've got one, two, three, four, five feet at the bottom. So these things should, should be pretty easy to move We'll get them right next to each other and they'll stick and line up nice and uh, you know this is simple we really don't have the three feet here so that's a little unfortunate. Now we can put the panel over here and all we have to do is turn it 90 degrees and it's ready. Now you can, for homes that are not north-south like this, you can use that adjustment. What we want to do now is create a layer, make our lives a little easier. And this is how you access layers. We'll do to some layers here. We'll say um, grid paper obstructions okay and then we'll have another one for modules okay so I'm going to apply all that I'm going to do this and now I'm going to this one is selected you can see that I'm going to send I'm going to select it and format it to where we put it in layers Assign to layer. Assign to the obstruction layer. Okay. And we're going to get this one. And we're going to say assign to layer. We're going to assign to layer grid paper. Okay. And now that they're assigned, I can make them disappear. And we'll capture those modules. They'll be the only things left standing. All right. So go to the pointer tool, grab the modules, and we're going to send them to the module layer. Not so hard to do. And then we're going to know how many modules there are when we just go back and look. You could create... So I put a title on this, and that's a simple thing to do in Visio. Grab a title. I inserted the links page in here, which looks quite handsome. You could also present a proposal showing the obstruction page and show that you're clear of all the obstructions. So in closing, I just wanted to bring your attention to the layers and any one of these layers you see, you could print and show the client, here's how it looks on this layer, here's how it looks on this layer. You can put the solar insulation in on a layer too and see the modules vis-a-vis -vis that solar resource. And now you can have a really professional looking document to go to a client or building authority. Visit us at rooforders.com and sign up for our upcoming solar design webinar series. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you. Bye.